Good evening to you and thank you for joining us. A driver that police say was driving 100 miles per hour the wrong way nearly hit a semi on State Road 63 in Terre Haute today. It caused quite the scene earlier today. Well, tonight that semi driver is talking to News 10. News 10's Blake Dahlier is live in the studio. He shares the driver's video of a scary situation. Rondrell Caleb Hodshire and his co-worker were driving from Kentucky through Terre Haute. That's when they found themselves right in the middle of a high-speed chase. Oh, my gosh. Caleb Hodshire and his co-worker were driving on State Road 63 when an Indiana State trooper sped by and blocked the road. Police say there was a car that was headed the wrong way, going 100 miles an hour, straight for them. Hodshire got it all on film. Get down. He is going to smack right into us. The emotions were as high as they could be. Oh, sh Oh, sh Oh, sh I caught up with Hodshire after the near miss with the speeding car. He says in his five years driving a semi, he's never seen anything like it. We didn't think that, you know, there was going to be someone pop up in the oncoming lane doing 80 miles per hour in a, in a high-speed police chase. Like, that's something you do not see every day. Hodshire says he had no clue what to do other than hope for the best. I'm like, well, there's nothing we can do besides pull out the old iPhone and take a video. <laughs> so I buckle, buckle my seatbelt and just hold on. That's all I could do is just hope and pray and hold on. The car missed Hodshire's semi by about a foot. Oh! He said being in the semi made him feel a little safer than if he were in a smaller vehicle. But he still braced himself for the worst. If a car hits you doing 80 miles per hour head on, it doesn't matter if you're in a semi or not. It's going to rattle you to your bone. Like, it, it's going to hurt. The car was stopped by the state trooper who threw stop sticks on the road. Hodshire says that trooper may have saved some lives. If that cop wouldn't have blocked us all off and told us to get out of the way, there could have been a very bad head-on collision that would have killed, you know, an entire family. He is the man for, you know, flattening those two, those two tires. We haven't received a name for the suspect in this case yet, but when I was at the scene earlier today, I did see a man transported from an ambulance in handcuffs to a police car. Fortunately, no one was hurt. Rondrell, back to you. This remarkable video there.